Welcome to this getting started video about using Maxwell Render with 3ds Max. This video will assist you with the installation of the Maxwell Render plugin and the first steps in Maxwell. First, download the Maxwell plugin for 3ds Max from our download area and run it. The installer will guide you through the installation process. Specify your 3ds Max installation folder and components. The Maxwell Render plugin for 3ds Max will be installed automatically on your system. Download the Maxwell Render plugin manual as well. It will help you to understand how Maxwell Render is integrated into 3ds Max. Now run 3ds Max. Open the provided sample scene to follow this video. In the Customize Preferences panel you can check some Maxwell preferences like plugin version, material preview quality and viewport preview options. In the Render Setup panel, you can set Maxwell Render as the preferred render engine. The Renderer panel contains the Maxwell specific parameters like general settings, tone mapping, environment settings, image-based lighting and environment, render layers, certain camera settings and simulens lens effects. The render resolution is defined by the common output size setting. Select the camera and adjust the optics, lens and field of view. The Maxwell specific parameters can be adjusted in this specific tab.
You can adjust the diaphragm, f-stop, shutter speed film, ISO and other camera settings just like a photographer does. F-stop, shutter speed and film ISO control the render exposure, like with the real camera. You can choose between autofocus and manual focus, the latter allowing you to set the focus distance manually. Open the Render Setup panel to access the Maxwell Render settings. In General Settings, you can set the Render Time and Sampling Level, which is the level of quality, as well as play with some interesting features like Multi-Light and Motion Blur. You can also specify an output path for the MXS file and final MXI images and select the render channels you want to export. You can enable the sky preview in viewport, which shows the sky conditions in the 3DS Max viewport. The Environment Settings panel allows you to control the environment conditions, including location and time. Changes will be displayed interactively in the viewport. Hit the Render button to make your first render in Maxwell Render. This is the Maxwell Render Engine interface. Watch while your render appears during the rendering process. You can re-expose your image by adjusting the film ISO and shutter speed during render time or even after the render has stopped.
the render will get cleaner and cleaner until your render time value or the specified sampling level is reached. You can manually stop the render process at any time using the stop button. Try different locations or time conditions and launch some test renders. While rendering, the small preview window interactively shows the changes, which are also shown in the main image when the next SL is reached. You can zoom in and out using your mouse wheel. Click with the middle mouse button to pan the image. Press F to see the image in full size. Press the stop button to stop rendering and get the final image.